Welcome to Cooking with Bubbles. I'm Lisa. And I'm Rodney. Let's get started. All right. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. <laughs> Dry January is over. We made it. <laughs> and now we get to get back to doing what we love, which is drinking Prosecco while we're cooking. So, ready? Oof. Oh, so nice. Oh my goodness. I, I, I have can almost tasted on my lips. <laughs> Those of you that are you watching, please pour yourself a glass and enjoy along with us. I'm going to add a little practice. cranberry, a little cranberry to mine. Me too. Just a splash for color. Haven't had bubbles on these lips for quite some time. <laughs> so it's kind of nice. <laughs> oh my goodness. Here we go. All right. Clink. Clink. Mm. Oh. Very, very nice. Mm. Love it. Mm. Yummy. Yum, yum. Oh. Well, you know what? We made it through dry January. We're still in our own kitchens. And with everybody spending more time at home, what a perfect way for us to get to still do what we do, which is to get mm -hmm. together on the weekends and have some bubbles and cook. So yes. here we are in our own kitchen. And I'm so glad we're back to bubbles. So Lisa, yes. what are we making today? So today we're gonna make a recipe that um, I call Johnny's Chicken Enchiladas. And basically Johnny, who was our neighbor many years ago, lived to our east. And we had another Johnny that lived to our west. So this is Johnny East's um, shared recipe. He got it from his friend Fabian, Fabian. So, um, but he shared it and it's delicious. So we're gonna make it today. Um, it includes rotisserie chicken in my case, leftover, uh, but it includes chicken, cheese, onions, green chilies, a soup mixture with soup and sour cream, and some black olives and some cilantro. Well, I'll drink bubbles to that. <laughs> That's what he said. Mm. Mm. Right. Yummy. So let's get started. First thing is um, you mentioned we have a soup mixture. So we have a can of cream of chicken soup that we're going to mix together with a half of a cup of sour cream. So it's a whole can of soup. Hold on. Hold on. 10.75 ounces. There we go. Oh, there we go. And then there we go. I had it on the wrong one. Half a cup of sour cream. And this is gonna be used throughout the dish. It's gonna go in the bottom of the pan. It's gonna go a little bit in each one of the tortillas. And then the remainder is gonna go on top when we're all finished. So that's our first step. And that's probably the easiest thing we're gonna do here today. Get <laughs> yeah. <good? laughs> Get that Other all mixed drink. together. Yeah. And once this is mixed together, we can just put it to the side. And honestly, you could use whatever kind of cream of soup you wanted to. If you don't like chicken or if you want to use celery or mushroom, you can experiment and use whatever makes sense for you. All right. Now we're going to switch over to Lisa and you are going to mix some stuff on the stove. Yeah, so why don't you put me on um, my counter cam? Okay. You're on. Mm. I needed some Good bubbles idea. first. Ah, I don't want to get dry. So while I've got this going on, let me just turn this around for you so you can see what's going on. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm melt. Uh, thank you. I'm gonna melt this butter. This is a new gadget, so bear with me. I'm gonna make sure I can get this thing up to temperature. But the idea is to melt your butter along with um, your your green chili, your your um, onions. Stuff called chili powder. <laughs> your, ch your chili powder and your onions. I think we should drink some more bubbles. <laughs> I know, maybe so. Um, the recipe calls for a, tab a tablespoon of butter and one onion. And what I ended up having is about a little more than a cup and a half of onions. So I'll put that That's about what I there. ended up with too. I have about the same amount. Yeah. So what setting yeah, are you recipe, using? Are you sticking to nine? You think nine's the right setting? Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. I am also, uh, the recipe calls for a teaspoon of red chili powder, but I like mine a little spicy. So I'm gonna put in two teaspoons. Okay. Mm. This is one of those things, if you don't like onions, you can eliminate them. You can use onion powder. Um, you know, it doesn't really matter, just so long as you put that, that flavor in here. Cool. It already... So as I let this cook, the onions are getting a little bit more clear. And to this mixture, I'm gonna add um, the equivalent of about six to eight ounces of green chilies. I'm using a New Mexico style salsa, but the recipe calls for two four ounce cans of green chili. Oh, smells so good. Yep. And I used, I had one can of diced and one can of chopped because that's just what I happen to have in my pantry. Yeah, that, that works. And now yeah. it's time for me to add my chicken in. And I've got two yeah. cups of chicken. You can use chopped chicken. Like I mentioned, I'm using um, what got peeled off of a rotisserie chicken, but about two cups worth and I shredded it up. So let me mix all yeah. this goodies together. Yeah, I'm using, I'm using a rotisserie chicken that I picked up yesterday. And you know we talk a lot about food safety on our show, and it's really important when you are dealing with any sort of food that you buy hot and then you cool it down and then reheat it. It's important to follow the proper protocols for cooling it down, refrigerating it, and then when you bring it back out, um, heating it back up to at least 165 degrees before you serve it, um, just for food safety purposes. Good call. Wow. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, let's have some bubbles. Let's have some bubbles. Mm. All right. Yeah, yours definitely looks a little bit different with the shredded chicken versus mine, the chunked. Yeah, it's good. It's all good. So really, since the chicken is already cooked, there's not much going on except for reheating it. And I'm pretty satisfied with, with this. Um, so we're also supposed to stir in two tablespoons of the soup mixture, right? Yep. So let's do that now. I'm just going to wing it. I'm just using a, just a regular tablespoon for my drawer. There's yeah, one. just do like a big, a big plop of it in. That's big all. dollop. <laughs> yeah. Because we're going to also be putting it inside the base of our tortillas, and then it's going to be on the bottom of the pan, the baking dish, and it's going to be smeared into the tortillas. Okay. I'm going to oh. turn it down. I'm going to turn my temperature down to a little bit lower. Again, I'm not trying to cook anything here at this point. I'm happy with that. That looks good. Good. It smells amazing.
Okay. Gosh. I gotta get a picture of this. This looks good. All right. So then what's next? It's a good question. What is next, Lisa? So next we're going to really start assembling this. Let's take it off the heat. You can turn your heat off entirely. Okay. And I'm going to move my pan over to a... Let's let it rest. Let's let it rest for just a second. Okay, sounds good. Okay, welcome back. All right, so the next step is we're going to slam some of this uh, chicken mixture into the bottom of our tortilla. And the way we do that, you ready? Or maybe I should <laughs> have some bubbles. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> mm. oh. Yum. The first step is to coat the bottom of your baking dish with a little bit of the soup mixture. So just spread it out okay. in the bottom. That'll give it a nice little bed for the tortillas to sit on. It ain't much, just a little bit. Yeah. Then I'm gonna take a tortilla. And for those of you following along, we already we already preheated our ovens to 350, so we're ready to go there. Yes, we did. So I'm gonna okay, put so a little gonna... smear of the chicken, yeah. of the soup mixture in there. Okay. I'm gonna grab about a quarter cup of the chicken mixture and send that down, put that down the center of it. Okay. I'm gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of cheddar cheese. cheese. The recipe okay. calls for about two cups of cheddar cheese. I'm using um, Mexican blend shredded cheese. Nice. You can use whatever you we want. Like, yeah, we like black olives here, so I'm gonna do that. Yep. I'm gonna put a couple of uh, things of cilantro in here. Today, I'm going to probably be making two different ones. I'm going to do one with red sauce and one with green sauce. Mm. We're so after I get green that sauce done, in this house. Yeah, I'm going to roll my tortilla and then put it in the pan, seam down. Ooh, okay. And so that's it. I'll do another one of these. Okay. Schmear. A little bit of goo. Schmear that. Big plop of this. You know, I don't know if it would taste exactly the same. I haven't made it with corn tortillas, but I can imagine it would be okay. Yeah, I think it's really what you like. And, you know, I know yeah. some people might have to use gluten-free and um, so corn right. would be the way to go to achieve that. I know my mom would have to use gluten-free. Yeah. I mean, I really like corn tortillas anyways. So mm -hmm. I, but okay. this is how the recipe came. So this is what I learned to make. Okay. And these are eight inch tacos. Oh my goodness, I lost some of my stuffing. I did too. <laughs> I'm a little messy here. Roll that guy and put it in. So we're gonna let this rest, right? Yes. Okay, so now we have finished rolling all of our tortillas. They're all seamed down. Um, we're gonna top it off now with the remaining bit of our soup mixture. And we're really just gonna smear this on top. Nothing fancy, just goop it on, whatever's left, smear it on. Um, you'll notice I've got two pans. I'm gonna do a green sauce and I'm gonna do a red sauce. The guts and are I only the same. Did half, I only did half of mine with black olives, so I have to mark the end of my pan <laughs> that has black olives in it. Yeah, 
You know what you can Everybody do? Everybody in my house couple, likes black olives. Put a couple of black olives on the top so you know exactly which end is which. Exactly. So that looks good. Get rid of the rest of the soup mixture. Maybe I'll use the spatula. Get the rest of it out of there. Mm -mm. It's making me thirsty. <laughs> what do you say? Okay. All right. Mm. Are we ready to put the sauce on? Let's do it. All right. <clears throat> So I've got two pans. I think I'll put red sauce on the larger. I've got more interest in that one today. We are strictly a green sauce family. Yeah, we like both here. So I'm gonna use that. And then I'll pour the green sauce over smaller pan. And I'm using a medium hot um, green sauce because that's what we like. Again, spicier the better. And now that I've got those on there, I'm going to sprinkle some more cheese, more cheese on it. And, and just for, for those of you watching, the two cups of cheese that the recipe called for was not enough for me. I actually had to yeah. go back to get some additional cheese to have enough to sprinkle on the top and make it delicious and cheesy. You know what? One of our friends said said the truth. You know what? Cheese is how much cheese you put is just a suggestion. So exactly. You can Every definitely recipe is a suggestion. <laughs> pretty much, unless you're baking, where you've got specific measurements to make things work. And I'm gonna top mine with a little bit of cilantro that I had left over. Me too. And it looks pretty. I like it. It does look pretty. It's beautiful. Yeah. So our last step is we're going to pop this in our preheated oven for 25 minutes. Yeah. And that'll give us time to drink some more bubbles. And so we'll come back in 25 minutes and, and show you the outcome. Sounds good. All right, welcome back. Um, gosh, this looks delicious. We actually had to leave mm -hmm. it in the oven for a couple of more minutes beyond the 25 minutes that the recipe called for in order to allow it to get nice and bubbly. Um, but yeah, it looks looks beautiful. Yes. So let's, I'm gonna slap some of this on a plate so we can give it a try. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit more of this one. I'm gonna dig into my black olives because I love black olives. Yum. And I'm gonna put a little bit of sour cream on top of mine too, because that's how I like it. And I garnish my plate with some avocado. Just that'll be good. Mm -hmm. mm. I've got some avocado, right. some sour cream, and a little bit of more black olives and cilantro because that's how I roll. Look at Love that. It. Oh my goodness. I got to take, take a picture. Take a picture, Lisa. <laughs> okay, take a picture. Because once you take a bite, you can never go back. Picture taken. The picture is going to show the steam coming off. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull us back to all four squares. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. Mm. Give this guy, let's give it a try. Give it a taste. It's very hot. Mm. So good. Super good. Mm. Mm -hmm. and you know what? That extra teaspoon is not too hot. Oh, the chili powder? Yeah. Delicious. It's very delicious. 
especially with the avocado and the extra garnish. Oh, mm -mm -mm. love it. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yay. We made it. Yeah, we made it. What a great, easy recipe. Yeah, super good. Awesome. Well, it looks and smells delicious. It's very easy. Um, and let's drink to that. You know, we, we made a very delicious recipe today. Good job. Mm -hmm. Mm. Well, we want to thank our virtual audience for joining us today. And we want to thank all of you for watching and enjoying Cooking with Bubbles. Please remember, if you haven't already, to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash cooking with bubbles. And we want to thank our sponsor, corktrade.com, for providing us with the wonderful trivets that we use to keep our stuff nice and clean off of our counter yes. and let our yes. stuff cool porktray.com i love this one because he made it for me based upon what my interests are which are bubbles so these are all different kinds of um, bubbles prosecco all sorts of different kinds of bubble tops Awesome. And Beautiful. if you have any recommendations for recipes that you would like for us to make on Cooking with Bubbles, please send them to our email at cookingwithbubbles.com, at yahoo.com. Awesome. So I guess that's it then. That's it then. We'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us on Cooking with Bubbles. <laughs>